guys, so, since it's a free-for-all, I guess I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things, which, um, doesn't sound interesting. Do you ever have those moments of doubt where you think it's boring? I guess I'm gonna start out with responses. Um, to Emily and Giles' video, was, um, Emily was talking about food and how she tried new foods. Well, um, that's not just something we experience moving from country to country, though that is definitely the biggest thing. Um, when I moved from California here to the Midwest, I'd never heard of a hot sandwich. Um, a hot sandwich is an open face sandwich, and open face means you only have one piece of bread. So you have this one piece of bread, and on top of it you have a thick slice of meat, not deli meat, like actual straight from the animal meat, <laughs> or meatloaf. Meatloaf's a good one. Okay? And so then on top of that you have mashed potatoes and gravy. It was really good. And then another thing in the Midwest that's really big is navy bean and bacon soup. Um, God, I love maybe bean and bacon soup. And then another thing that I hadn't heard of was cheese fries. What they love to do out here is they like to have their fries and put like, not quite nacho cheese, but it's definitely not regular melted cheese. And they put it all over their fries and it makes it weird. Like, in California we definitely have chili cheese fries and I heard of those, but just cheese fries? And then, last Last, last spring, last spring, when I was down there visiting, they had a place that was selling cheese fries, and I was just like... And in response to Giles' video, um, I definitely know the feeling of always leaving someone behind. When I was four, uh, my best friend moved to San Francisco, and people would, I know most people would just be like, well, you were four, but this isn't just a thing, it was, <laughs> uh, my mom's best friend's daughter was my best friend, and so, um, I've spent my whole life taking, like, nine-hour driving trips up from San Diego to San Francisco and going and visiting her, and we've always sort of, like, been in touch, we're still best friends and everything, um, and then, of course, with moving from California to Illinois, that's another thing, and then, like, and then on top of that, going from Rockford to Chicago to go to college, and blah, 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 and I know you talked about, like, having someone you miss and whatever, but I don't miss people the way everyone else misses people, um, I don't miss people at all unless I remember they exist. <laughs> it's like something will remind me of someone and I'll go, oh yeah, I miss them. Hmm. And I know that seems like kind of a mean thing, but I don't know. I think another part of it, it is because um, my parents were never married and so I spent a lot of time going back and forth between the houses. Maybe that has something to do with it. And now, on to the actual subject of my video. Pottermore. Pottermore is now open to the public, but I was also a beta tester for Pottermore. Um, I didn't use it as much during beta testing, and part of the reason for that is because dueling was closed, and so whenever you made a potion, you would have to remember to come back in 30 minutes instead of, like, dueling for 30 minutes. And the other reason I'm spending a lot more time on Pottermore is that Gryffindor overtook Ravenclaw in house points. During beta testing, Ravenclaw was in second the whole time. Um, we were in first for a while, but then Slytherin overtook us. Um, and uh, once beta testing was over and Pottermore was open to the public, Gryffindor got into second. And last night, for about five minutes, Gryffindor got into first. This was a little bit shocking, and it made me just a little bit angry, but, um, it's actually
actually surprising that we held on to second for so long because we have the least amount of members. Um, we have a much, much higher uh, mean points, uh, you know, average. Our user points by average are higher than all of the other houses, and yet we are in third place. This is not cool. This is not cool. So today I'm spending all day on Pottermore, and right now I have about 400 house points which is really not very much, that's not very much at all, it's really, it's really not. That's what I'm doing today, you should all get on the more and get more house points, even if you're not in Ray Winnie Claw. See you guys next time.